the quaint town of Clarkton in Bladen County, whispers began on December 29, 1953. A local woman drawn by the neighbor's distressed dogs glimpsed a large cat-like creature disappearing into the shadows, the inaugural sighting of the ominous beast of Bladenboro. Days later on New Year's Eve, Police Chief Roy Forez investigated the gruesome scene at Woody Storm's farm, where two dogs lay lifeless, their blood drained. Reports flooded in. D.G. Pate witnessed an attack at his service station, describing a creature resembling a bear or a panther. Panic spread as more incidents unfolded, with chilling screams echoing from the swamps. Professional hunters were summoned, discovering footprints the size of a silver dollar. On January 5, the beast escalated its terror, attacking Mrs. C.E. Kinslaw. The town buzzed with hunters eager to confront the mysterious threat. Over 600 men, even armored fraternity brothers from UNC Chapel Hill. Speculation ran wild, ranging from extinct Carolina Panthers to rogue coyotes. Fear gripped the community. Nightfall became a dreaded time. Ev Butler recalled, Nighttime was the feared time around these parts. As the hunt intensified, Mayor Bob Fusel and Chief Fours, deeming it too perilous, halted the pursuit on January 13th. An unusually large bobcat, trapped by a local farmer, became the town's designated beast of Bladenboro, displayed on a flagpole with a sign beneath it. After a week, the town gradually returned to Normale. The hunters departed, and the chilling report ceased. The enigmatic beast of Bladenboro vanished, retreating into the night and swamps from which it emerged, leaving the town with haunting memories of its brief, unsettling presence. As always like, follow and stay scary, my friends.